Hello my dear Aquarius, this is your love and spirituality reading for the time between December 16 and December 31st, 2017 with me Queen of Cups Tarot. So I uh, used uh, Tarot of the Hidden Realm by Barbara Moore and illustrated by Julia Jeffery. And I will start shuffling your cards. Uh, so when I open the deck here, I see the shadow dance and death. So shadow dance is the devil and death is death. Uh, so it seems like uh, some of you might have gotten tired to play with the devil, uh, gotten tired to be with the... Uh, um, people that has deep rooted problems that they don't want to do anything about but with the death card it might be that uh, these people in your life um, <laughs> putting you to, uh, to trouble or giving you trouble might start changing as well that uh, death is also uh, evolution from one state uh, to another uh, this might also be deep shadow work that Aquarius is uh, currently doing uh, so I call the divine with love and light and I call the four archangels in the four corners of the world and I call the six elements earth, wind, fire, water, spirit and ether to join us here today and to give us a clear view reading for my dear Aquarius viewers. Uh, so, uh, you saw uh, it came the Six of Cups, Six of Pentacles, also the Two of Swords. So it seems like there's some, uh, some devil returning from the past, from uh, your past. And uh, now you are supposed to uh, teach them equality. You have the Two of Swords, like holding a sword against their throat, <laughs> forcing them uh, to act like um, uh, in the way that is... Um, like so they can cooperate with you. It seems like there has been kind of no cooperation in the past. Maybe you have been um, uh, either uh, like an abuser of some sort or a codependent. Uh, and uh, this is now going to be put to an end uh, in, uh, in the month of December, the last part of December. Uh, so uh, I want my dear... Uh, Aquarius viewers uh, to have love in their lives and to find themselves in loving relationships. I also want you to have creative success and to be able to walk on your highest path towards your highest destiny. Uh, so my dear Aquarius, see what's up for you uh, the second part of December 2017. We will have a Mer Mercury retrograde that will start on the 3rd of December and uh, ends on the 23rd so that might be interesting okay so I'll just tune in for a few seconds okay my dear Aquarius this is your short uh, mid-month spread so it will be three cards in every row past present and future uh, so this is your uh, this is your future and here is the now and this is the past so in the past we have a king of cups so it might be that some of you uh, have been dealing with a Scorpio uh, Pisces or Cancer individual uh, king of cups can be uh, it's a person having a lot of emotions and emotions is their superpowers uh, but when it comes to the kings and the masculine people of our day uh, they have been taught not to cry not to have feelings not to be um, <laughs> like a girl uh, so um, their superpower had kind of been made uh, ridiculous uh, and therefore many of them uh, like a masculine people a person is shying away from uh, their feelings and it's making them disconnected from themselves uh, their superpower the divine forces you everything uh, so if you have been if you are a king of cups like this or if you have been dealing with a king of cups like this you need to know that uh, you need to heal yourself first you need to heal yourself first before you can help uh, anyone else so this king needs to heal themselves 
uh, you need to heal yourself and king of cups is actually about healing healing of the heart making your inner space like a wonderful place wherever you go there you are so you need to be friends with yourself and whatever the feeling is inside kind of roll out the red carpet to it and and be there with it uh, so the king of cups is a person coming uh, bearing gifts uh, but since we have the devil in the mix uh, from what you see so when I shuffled it might be that this person is um, uh, having their heart in the basement like in their shadow uh, so they, they mm, when the person is like this they, they tend to turn to abuses of, of different sorts to cover up for the feelings that they can't have like a vent for they can't ventilate uh, ventilate their uh, feelings so instead they they try to take drugs uh, to numb them or to do um, things that trigger certain parts of the brain so they will feel, feel good anyway uh, and and that is causing a lot of problems in many people's lives uh, and here it, it seems like it's time to dig up this like what is the problem like for real uh, instead of um, uh, doing the same uh, stupid loops again and again um, so it's very important for the codependent to kind of uh, uh, take a step back and, and let this person um, be able to see themselves and deal with their own feelings. And of course you can be there and help them, but so when you become codependent, you have gone too far with the helping thing. Uh, okay, so this is in the past and it's um, uh, November going into the first part of December probably. Uh, and this is in the now. So this is the second part of December. And here you have the hero font. So this is the time when you go inside and you find out who am I? Uh, why am I here? What is going on with me? Why am I feeling so uh, <laughs> disconnected from myself? And um, uh, so it's an inner work. You put the light of attention inside of yourself and uh, get to know yourself. It's self-realization. Um, you need to... Uh, start to see uh, yourself from the inside and always have like an eye inside yourself like Odin that sacrificed one of his eye down in the wisdom well. The wisdom well if was, if was, is of course your feelings. The well of wisdom, the connection with the divine, the umbilical cord back to the divine. Uh, so always having an eye inside yourself and inside your feelings is going to make you a very very wise person like the hermit here. And and Aquarius, this is your future. And also the devil, uh, what has been pinging in my mind now is the devil is uh, is also tied to Capricorn. So it might be that you have dealt with a Capricorn person. Uh, Capricorns tend to uh, follow rules. <laughs> they want to live by the book and not, uh, ever, not ever do something wrong. So they're very controlled. Equally to Aquarius, that's also very controlled. Uh, but you are in another way, not so um, Capricorn wants to serve, wants to be good and wants to help others to serve. But here it's not about serving anymore. It's about finding yourself. So this, if you are dealing with a Capricorn person, they have that also to be added to um, this problematic, um, this uh, problem, okay, this mental problem or this uh, emotional problem. Um, and here you have Ace of Wands and Ace of Wands you see here it's a fox so it's like you it's an opportunist uh, you will always find a way like how to go through this how to find a way through this and the only way is through it's like the Ace of Wands is trial by fire so um, it's about following your longing to wherever it takes you like your biggest dream is your highest life path when you follow that like a red thread uh, you can't go wrong even if you need to jump to a lot of hoops <laughs> to get where you want to go uh, okay uh, so the first card for you uh, Aquarius uh, in um, the, the past here is the nine of wands so nine of wands uh, is about strength uh, it's about um, it's about taking up uh, things from the deep basement and finding out that they were not something that you needed to be afraid of. It's actually your strength. In the beginning, uh, if you have done this recently, it can be a little bit uncomfortable. Like you see, everything is on fire here. So it's easy to start a fire that you can't put out. Um, 
So, but I'm still supporting you. If you need to react with strong boundaries and need to show yourself to the world in this new bird phoenix kind of um, uh, awakening, like you are a new you, uh, you have brought up the deep rooted stuff from the basement, bringing them up to the surface and now you're using them. And you're a little bit like... Um, uh, unfamiliar with using these strengths um, and the strengths comes from you being able to uh, totally align with yourself like whatever comes up is fine um, uh, you don't if you have Tourette's <laughs> and I'm meaning this in a jokeful way like, like in the, I'm trying to make a joke here but also proving a point or saying a point or trying to make get my point through is you have like easy for saying like um stupid things to people and and this is your strength like you're always blunt you're always straightforward you always tell people like it is um then this is your superpower it's not something that you should be ashamed of or always um uh, try to change or try to master in some way uh, but not ever turn to violence and also uh, you need to be able to be very good to say that you're sorry if you're doing these things and you later regret it. When regret comes, it's a sign that we have overstepped and we need to say that we're sorry. Uh, so, um, and um, uh, you shouldn't be ashamed like <laughs> forever. It's like if you have done something, you, know, you put a boundary or you told something, someone off and later on you felt, well, that was a little bit too much. It's probably because they, you are feeling the vibration of the other person lying at home uh, crying. <laughs> so, and then you you call them up and you say, I'm sorry for uh, earlier. It was, um, uh, I got really upset because I felt like this, but uh, now I, I feel a lot of regret. So I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings. That is always like always being in tune with who you are and always being adaptable and changing to new uh, messages that's coming through for you. Uh, so the person might um, have needed to hear that. Uh, but uh, you also need to say you're sorry. Something doesn't rule out the other thing. That is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> okay. So just because you are following your soul's road doesn't mean you're going to make mistakes. But the mistakes are like heavenly guided in some way. Um, and it's not uh, countable when it comes to, you know, it's not um, to apply when it comes to um, <laughs> to violence in any way or to stealing people's things or, or hurting them or, or um, shaming them in some way like for how they look or how they are. You need to always tell things from your side like you make me, I feel upset now because of what you told me. Uh, I'm getting very angry. I'm feeling frustrated. It needs to be from your point of view. You don't know every, anything about the other person. So you can't tell them you're an idiot. You are stupid. You are doing this. You are doing that. And sometimes you might need to, to do that anyway to blow up steam. But uh, and to maybe turn uh, turn some energy around if you have been uh, like not listening to your uh, feelings and being pushed, pushed, pushed until the breaking point. And when you break, you will probably say stupid things. So it's better if you always have this vent, like you can always, you always tell people how you feel, even if it makes like uh, conflicts in your world. And uh, this make people um, uh, get to know you better. The nine of wands here is connected to the nine, the hermit. Uh, so it's about self-realization and you also realize yourself by uh, maybe becoming very angry or very upset or uh, dramatic in some way. And then afterwards you're like, interesting. <laughs> so I really blew up some fuse there. <laughs> what what was that about? And, but don't judge yourself. Just like curiosity, um, a sense of humor is very well in this situation so um, try to have hu humor with this and don't uh, no not the judgmental thingy so just um, um, see that you needed to do this and have understanding for your own being uh, that it needed to blow up some steam blow off some steam uh, so nine of wands traditionally in many decks it's like strength being pulled up from the uh, like your deep resources, uh, but it's also sometimes being very guarded towards people, but I don't think this person looks guarded at all. Uh, so I'm not going into that. Uh, and here you have the Knight of Swords, 
Uh, so Knight of Swords is of course you. You might also be dealing with another um, air sign. Uh, so Knight of Swords is usually a Gemini, but it can be Libra or Aquarius as well. It's just showing uh, the swords are being used like in an, uh, um, in a <laughs> very active way. <laughs> like um, going out there, needing to have the, your things said. You need to get it out of you. You need to tell them. You need to, you want that thing. You know, try to persuade someone. It's like a very active, active energy with the Knight of Swords. Uh, since Knight of Swords is con connected to Gemini, it might be this back and forth, back and forth thinking because Gemini, uh, the Gemini uh, energy is very quick minded and it can see things from a trillion different uh, angles, like almost like a Picasso painting. Um, and um, they can see. So this is where it comes in, like you start to think that you know what everyone else is thinking and you don't. Uh, that is why people need to start uh, telling w what they feel and, and what they want and and how they react in different situations because in other case people m will like this will make a lot of assumptions like okay they are like that it's a hopeless there's no meaning to talk with them uh, and you instead of asking like okay uh, I noticed that you are um, having a great reaction here um, is it something I can help you with is it something that I have done like be a little bit vulnerable because this vulnerability is also very strong it's like being the bigger person it's like being wise because the knight of swords lacks some of the wisdom he's just um, uh, going into this argument uh, but it might be that as I said the strength is recently awakened uh, so it will be used like in a little bit maybe immature way uh, because um, you need to get used to this new power before you were denying it denying it denying it putting it into the shadow like I don't want it I don't want it I don't want to react like this I only want to be nice I only want to behave I only want to um, <laughs> like uh, have happy people around me I don't want to say those things so you have been pushing 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 and now it's just poof, it's like a volcanic eruption here and you might feel very righteous <laughs> and and, and try to tell people like this is how it is <laughs> so okay and we have the king king of cups so it's also uh, actually you getting to know your own emotions uh, you might be mirroring yourself also in a water person some they might have water somewhere in the short short like sun moon or rising uh, so it's it's you finding out what kind of emotions you have you're starting to put that eye down the wisdom well okay so that is what's going on and you are a little bit uh, untamed here uh, not really know, knowing exactly how to calibrate this energy uh, so it will come up in flares and maybe like this is fire and air probably a big forest fire <laughs> has been happening here in your past uh, and here we have a ten of cups so it's it so it seems like anyway in this situation there's still great love uh, so what you want is to be loved for the person that you are. You want to be loved even when you have um, uh, told the person these things. You want them to come and say, okay, finally I understand how you have been feeling and I'm sorry. Uh, so this is your reason for acting out in <laughs> like any way. You want to have other people's understanding. And I think uh, why you are also being able to expose yourself towards these people can sometimes be that you love them a lot uh, so you want to them to see who you really are and you want to be uh, maybe you want to penetrate to some kind of ignorance uh, to get to the real love it might be that you're telling someone off uh, because uh, you feel frustrated by them not seeing the potential between you two so the Ten of Cups, this is like a mother <laughs> cooking for her children, but really it seems it's more like this witchy quality. Okay, we say that it's um, it's a witch uh, preparing herbs from, for healing. And you know, Ten of Cups is a very strong card for healing, as it's the King of Cups. It's the highest card in the suits. This is the highest card in the water suits when it comes to 1 to 10, and this is the highest overall. Uh, so it's very strong love here in the bottom. It's just that uh, maybe a lot of misunderstanding has made it confused and made it unbalanced in some way. And, and I think this is actually restoring the balance and restoring the harmony for, for Aquarius. Uh, so that's actually uh, really good. 
uh, with the Ten of Cups there, there, it might be that even if you were going to rant and everything, you're going to see that people love you for who you are and not for the like how much you could behave. <laughs> uh, you will actually find that people love you better when you show your true self because then they don't have to guess. They don't have to feel like, oh, I feel she's really grumpy today, but <laughs> I don't know why. It's just like walking on eggshells and waiting for a mind to explode. And, but here you are directly telling like... Uh, yesterday when you fell asleep um you you did so <laughs> on my 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 <laughs> okay i <clears throat> i'm not going to take that example um because it was an incident um uh, imagine someone no i can't it's it's culture references like swedish culture reference i so i will take another example uh, like yesterday you came home really late I didn't want to take address this now because uh, we were both tired but um, if you are going to come home that late please please try to call or at least answer my calls because I get really worried I think you have you died somewhere and I need to call the police so please if I'm <laughs> I know if you have a good time you don't want to um, you don't want to pick up your mobile phone but um, please do you just need to uh, say that you're okay and you're fun and 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 i can be okay and have fun too with my evening so kind of like that <laughs> so uh okay so this is in the um, uh in the now uh, so that is the second part of december so it's circulating around uh, Christmas um, Eve and the <laughs> ending of the Mercury retrograde. So it seems like in the Mercury retrograde, you uh, it's it's going back into Sagittarius. Sagittarius is very direct. It's pointing with its whole hand to where it wants to go, like this Knight of Swords, this Knight of Wands, actually. And it's like you, Aquarius, have become the Knight of Wands, <laughs> and, and also with the communication. Uh, so it's um, because Mercury is communication and Knight of Swords is a lot of it communication, but might. Be be hard and blunt communication uh, so it's, it's like you went back and you needed to learn this you needed to pick up this like your speech uh, being able to tell people how it feels what you want what you like what you dislike uh, so you have got your words now uh, Aquarius and it's it's like you have healed here uh, it's amazing okay uh, so uh, in this ending of the Mercury retrograde and Christmas, we have the Nine of Pentacles. So it's like you found a new stability. And it's the Nine again. And you know what we had underneath here? It was the Nine, the Hierophant. So it's Major Arcana. And the Nine of Wands is the little children to this Nine, the Hermit. It's the Minor Arcana Nines. Um, taking up your strength, Nine of Pentacles, like loving yourself for who you are. And being really, like, really grounded in this and... And, and feeling secure uh, when you don't have to go like back and forth in your mind and is this right to do should I do that should I say this should I you just do natural like an animal you just fly you just take the step you just uh, act like accordingly with the web of creation instead of being uh, like um, um, like this caveman uh, wondering if you can go out from the cave or if you will be attacked or if I say this will I start a world war three well it's possible that you will start a world war three but if you would a person that can't tolerate you telling how you feel and don't love you enough uh, to listen and to understand and then you are with the wrong crowd. So that might be a hint. If people are exploding in your face, you're with the wrong crowd. Not if they're exploding in your face, because that's what you... They need to be able to do that. But if you can't stay with them, like if you need to... Uh, if you can't understand, if you can't make amends, if you can't get together again when you have been angry, it's totally fine to like being upset and telling how it is. Uh, and then you go maybe <laughs> very grumpy to one corner and then uh, one person feels like, well, that was not good. I'm going to come go back. So they go back and they say, well, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, I should have put in more effort or I should have told you how I really felt or and you make amends and you build. That's how you build. You build and and that is making like a foundation for you that's very strong and and connected like two people building, uh, building a own pl platform together. 
so this is what you want. But here we see that you're building this platform for yourself first, picking up your strength, feeling really cool about it. So it's like you don't care anymore if they love you or not. Uh, you are going to love you and you are going to find people because when you love yourself like this, when you start to align with yourself like this, you are starting to vibrate on a certain level that's going to attract people that also respect you and love you and cherish you equally like you do them. Okay. Uh, and here we have... <laughs> Well, the hermit, okay, so I must have misinterpreted the other card. The hierophant, okay, it's the Buddha figure. I'm so sorry. Um, this is the second time I used this deck. So I, I try to keep the energy really pristine for you because I love uh, the energy of new decks. So I don't use them uh, like all over the place. Uh, I'm saving these for you. So I haven't, uh, I, I didn't really reflect it's here, here font and hermit. It was just feeling the same for me. So it's probably because if I have said the hermit, I have probably uh, the hero font, I would have probably uh, told you something else. So this was the message that needed to come true. And you, uh, so it's like you have the hermit twice here. It's like it's, um, uh, building on on this um, your own wisdom like you need to side with yourself you need to side with your own wisdom instead of having this um, because the hero font can sometimes be it's like uh, this with Capricorn what I told you unwritten rules that you need to follow and and you kind of always um, judge yourself accordingly with those rules in until you drive yourself crazy uh, so you shouldn't really do that <laughs> okay so now it's time really for self-alignment. Uh, the, uh, the hermit is actually the one that's doing the revolution against the hero font, like what um, your parents told you to. They are moving to their own place and getting their, the will of their own and they're sorting what they want to keep from this society and not what's going to be them. Uh, and then eventually they will come back uh, to this library with the alchemist car card, like the temperance card. 14. 1 plus 4 is 5, uh, the hero font. Uh, so it's like when you have robbed off so much about uh, with another people, person, that you finally learned something new. You learned their world because they were communi communicating with you and you were communicating with them. So you learned another world, something you have never seen before. You were able to see something from another person's perspective. And now you are, you were like, this before, like your total self, 100% yourself, and this other person was 100% themselves. But after all this quarreling and, you know, battles back and forth, and you have gotten the understanding for each other, this is the 14, the alchemist. It's like being a scientist and coming back with the research result to the library, the hierophant. This is how humanity is building on, uh, on their knowledge and their wisdom and the Kashak Chronicles. Uh, okay, uh, so Hermit, you're really like a little bit of a loner uh, during the Christmas. Um, it, it, so don't be worried if you have been feeling like you don't want to celebrate Christmas, you don't want to be with other people because you have done deep rooted uh, healing, excavated excavations here in, in the realms of your feelings. And it's like you're a little bit fragile because... Uh, you don't want to have this new being that you found underneath there in your shadow tainted by people going to start to tell you about the rules. Uh, like, this is how it is. <laughs> you should behave like this. You know, <laughs> when you meet your relatives and they told you, oh, haven't you got married yet? Or uh, what kind of work do you do? Oh, Ah, oh, and they sigh when you say what you do, uh, or whatever it is. Like you know, always going coming into the same quarrels at Christmas Eve. Uh, so. Uh, you might feel like you're shying away a little bit from this. Uh, it's like you can't take it. I'm feeling like, yes, like you're being fragile, like your skin is a little bit uh, like um, tender, okay? Uh, so, and here we have the Four of Pentacles. So you see, this is building to something good with the Ten of Cups and the Four of Pentacles. You want to be with people that's protective of you because they love you, Okay. Not people that shut you out because uh, they judge you, okay? You want to people that loves you for you. Uh, so these is, are the people you are going to spend Christmas with. Like the people that cherish you, okay? Protect you. And this new foundation, what I told you about, like when people are able to 
communicate their true self, you are building on this new foundation. Uh, so I'm thinking that there's people out there that could really be this foundation together with you. I can't see what sign they are. I've seen the King of Cups, um, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, uh, usually Scorpio, and um, the Knight of Swords, usually Gemini. Um, also, uh, the Hermit is usually is Virgo. This is uh, Taurus. Uh, you also had something else that I currently uh, forgot. Uh, okay, <laughs> so we don't <laughs> we don't go there. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, okay. And this is your future, and we had this Ace of Wands, so it's like a new start here. Um, okay, and this is, oh, you have the Sun card here. Uh, sun is connected to Leo, uh, sometimes also to, to Gemini. Um, it's like seeing things from a total new perspective, like this butterfly perspective. You are gone through a big change, and you got some freedom out of it, and like really loving the the person that you were when you came before you got to split. Like this is who I am, but it's not loved by my parents because they want me to be like this instead. And now you're totally loving yourself. You're totally like aligning with yourself. You're totally uh, inviting your soul in because this is. The sun, it's the highest energy card in the whole deck, and this is the second highest. So it's like by this action, what you have done, Aquarius, you have uh, you have um, uh, taken down uh, your soul in your body. Uh, so it means that you're now on your highest path towards your highest destiny because you now listen to your soul. Finally, the divine says they got contact with you. It was really hard <laughs> because you're Aquarius, so you want to be logic and always just rant in your head. But now you're getting, getting real, the Aquarius sense, like the overall perspective, the, the king of swords that's being able to see things from an above perspective. I think he's actually having a butterfly on his uh, throne in the Rider White uh, Tarot. Uh, so... Um, I think you have really evolved uh, and it's a very beautiful Aquarius in a very beautiful uh, way and it's 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 bringing tears to my eyes to see this uh, finally this self acceptance like this amazing self acceptance that you have in all these rows it's it's really beautiful and this is going to as i said make you vibrate on a total different level so if you have hate and the situation and the relationships and the works and whatever you are being in uh, this, when you align like this with your true self, uh, this is when you are going to vibrate on a level that's actually going to bring some goody goodies inside into your life. 19, the sun. I told you about alchemist. This is the second card for love. It's the alchemic wedding. When you meet someone that's totally different to your actual shadow and you integrate it and you become whole. And the 19 sun is when you become whole. This is when your soul has um, <laughs> learned its uh, lesson kind of that it's um, uh, not supposed to divide itself like this is allowed and this is uh, this is allowed and this is not uh, so I, what I said here that you needed healing uh, this have now happened and this is in the future so it's going into January it seems like January is going to bring a lot of blessings and probably 2018 is going to bring a lot of blessings for the people that have done the work for the other people uh, I guess there will be hell okay uh, because the energy is, is is getting so intense so and here you are running with them so it's like you're you are fire and you're going with fire so you don't have to feel um, you don't have to feel the pain of it all if you try to resist this kind of energy it will be utterly painful uh, and here, oh, uh, the two of wands. So the two of wands, knight of swords, the hermit, two of wands. Okay, so you're very uh, self-sufficient uh, and you have a, a, a great self-control. It's like you're just going to invest uh, your wand <laughs> that we saw, all this energy that we saw, wherever it is like you're going, it's like you're, you're holding off your horses a little bit to see if this is what you're going to get or not. Um, like if you can play nice <laughs> together and if you can't you will probably pull back a little bit and, and then see what's happening so it might be a little bit like pulling back and forth back and forth in any kind of relationship that you're in because you're testing the ground you're testing the stability of this relationship 
if they're going to accept you. So it's like this song, don't throw your love away. You don't do that now. Uh, you step in and see, okay, is this like a great foundation? Uh, and um, the, the person might do something that feels a little bit like a betrayal or you're getting suspicious. Uh, you're withdrawing a little bit and you're also telling them, probably you tell them, but you should tell them, but with the Hermit and the Two of Wands and the Four of Pentacles, it's likely you won't. Uh, so you need to check a little bit on this, but you might not want to if you... Um, if you meet a new person here or start a new work or whatever it is that you're starting all new here, uh, you don't want to, you know, be the problematic person that points out all these, uh, like, this is flawed, this is flawed, this is flawed. Uh, so it seems like you're holding on, uh, holding off a little bit your energy. Uh, you're just waiting uh, for a sign if this is like a go or a don't go, okay? Uh and here you have the Page of Cups. Uh, so with the Ten of Cups, the Four of Pentacles and the Page of Cups, I feel that some of um, Aquarius might meet someone new, okay? Aquarius might meet someone that uh, really are able to love them for them. And I can't really see exactly the sign. It's a lot of water, of course, because it's showing a lot of emotions. But it can be an earth person as well. And um, what I said before, also air or fire uh, so you have all the um, the ingredients but it's just showing like a very fertile ground with a lot of water so this is a place where you want to put your seed this is where you can invest uh, but you are going to wait for the right person which whom you feel this uh, if you are in a relationship uh, it might be that you're waiting for the other person to show vulnerability too before you invest in them so it doesn't have to be like every Aquarius is like a big herd of elephants uh, changing a relationship in general it's not like that uh, but it might anyway you, you are waiting to see the signs like you're listening to your wisdom and you're just holding on a little bit to wait for the signs and see if the other person have found something out too and if they will come to you with vulnerability. Uh, okay, so I will take a card for the Oracle of Visions by Cyril Marchetti for uh, you Aquarius. Oh, to see uh, what kind of person it is that you have been dealing with or what kind of energy it is that you have been dealing with and, and maybe some advice how to deal with this in the future okay a little bit um, okay so I'm, I'm going to go, go with this card because it made me feel tingly uh, so I think this is the kind of the hermit mood um, that mostly you have been dealing with yourself mostly you have been dealing with inner work mostly you have been going through things on your own this is a little bit of, it's a robin uh, it's the bird that Jesus had in his crown uh, when being tortured uh, so and it's red because it's uh, hurt itself uh, when it's trying to pull out the thorns uh, from uh, Jesus uh, from his head Okay, and it's died. It's it's like a legend or story, and and this kind of helpful people. Not maybe okay. Sometimes the ten of cups is a person that like gives their life for another person. It's like the love is so deep that you will die for them. This was what I was trying to explain. I I don't think this card really expressed that, but this is what I try to to get at. Um, that they uh, will do anything for you. So it's like this very deep rooted love. This is the new vibration that you are going to vibrate at and invite it's like you're healing also uh, with your mother uh, like the ability to receive things and you have creatures of the meadow here and creatures of the lake here so it's like nature also could heal you in a very beautiful way if you let it and it's a little bit like you have the two of wands here uh, so it's like a little bit of holding on. It might be that you're waiting for divine timing to happen. So just enjoy this time when maybe there's a little bit of a stillness and just uh, be in yourself and, and ground yourself and feel everything in, about you. So kind of calibrating a little bit more and just getting really cozy and warm there inside of yourself and, and see what's coming up. Okay, and here we have the vibrational energy uh, oracle card for you, and we have the inspired juggler, 
and it's also the triangle so this is i think what you're waiting for is the triangle it's like holy spirit uh, there needs to be cooperation from other parts of your triangle before you can really head off and it's for cross watchers this is might be you waiting for an aquarius to come like this also vulnerable um so it doesn't have to be like always the other person but most aquarius that's watching is on this um, um is in this what i said but um the people that's not so into spiritual work might not know all those things and and therefore they are um they are not having troubles <laughs> with showing on to, uh, authenticity authenticity okay being authentic okay um you were born to organize <laughs> you are the multitasking extraordinary that others wish they could be you have an astonishing ability to be able to keep all the balls in the air at once the vibration of control while whilst in chaos is your key to success it is balanced within the confusion and disorder be amazed and don't underestimate what you can truly achieve uh, so I think this is what you're doing. You're just waiting. So don't be uh, like so much in anticipation. It's something wonderful is going to happen, but you just need to make like it needs to be able to be happening on a certain divine timing. And then you can keep on with the good work. Uh, so sometimes it can be frustrating if you uh, if you can't uh, like go on with this work, but uh, don't get frustrated. Just know that there's a certain divine timing. Okay, my dear Aquarius, I hope this helped. I want you to take really good care and um, uh, I welcome you back also to um, the January reading that I will perform in the middle of December. Like the beginning of January will be performed in the middle of December just before Christmas. Okay, so bye-bye. Uh,